that I have a PFO, which is something, which is like a hole in your heart that I was born with that never closed. You saw her on GMA, now reality star Kim Zolciak revealing that at just 37 years old, she will undergo heart surgery. You will recall the mom of six had to drop out of Dancing with the Stars after suffering a mini stroke. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now. And mm. it's just so scary. I mean, and she's is. a woman and so young. And, you know, it's the number one killer. I mean, and of course, you know, but the, the number strokes, one killer yeah. of men and women. Yeah, and the thing is, I think hopefully there's a teaching point here that young people can still get a stroke. You know, she has what's called a patent foramen ovale, long word or a PFO for short. Basically, that's a hole in the heart between the right and the left side. But now she has a, has a blood clot. It appears uh, for Zolciak that it's genetic. The star says she's ended up hospitalized and recalled her aunt having two strokes before a doctor discovered a hole in her heart. So, you know, it's, I mean, there's, there's something to be thinking about. It's a little controversial, though. You know, whole, I mean, you know, I haven't followed all of her story, but there's a little bit of controversy whether what, what's been going on. So. Well, might have, this may have been the way to bring it out. Exactly. It's a teaching she didn't moment. Know beforehand. Exactly. Is surgery the only way, Doc? So there's the whole condition about this patent foramen ovale is when, you, when you're a, a little, you know, a baby in your mother's womb, this, the, the, there's an opening that's there to help you. And in most of us, 75 to 80 percent of us, it closes up. If it doesn't, then blood goes to the right and the left side. So it can, it can do that. You can, you can get a stroke, but there's controversy whether it can cause a stroke or not. But if you have somebody like, like him who had a stroke, then one of, the, one of the things they do is thin the blood. She's on medicines. Or do, or do treatment. And surgery is one of the options. The other one is that do catheterization through the groin and then they close it up by putting a device. So they can do it without, without, besides surgery. We want you to talk about the, the signs of stroke, but also there was so much drama talked about her having plastic surgery and getting Botox shots right before she went on Dancing with right. the Stars. Would that have should anything not, to do should with not. bringing on? Listen, you know, if, you're, if you had surgery and you had a long surgery and you could have a blood clot and you can then maybe get a stroke, that could be a consideration. But, you know, at the time frame that she had, I don't think so. so but but what, what about the signs of stroke? Yes. There's a there's a you know a, a, a saying that says fast. So if you think somebody's having a stroke, look at their face if one side is drooping. Arms, lift your arms up if one side is weaker than the other. And then speech if the speech is slurred and tease time. Call 911 right away. If we can learn anything about this, is that fast F A S T and call 911 if you if you if you have a problem. But again, young people who have PFO see their doctors and determine whether treatment's necessary or not. All right, that's important. Thank you so much, Doc. Oh, it's my pleasure. And hey, if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.